The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. I'm in Perth, but this is a national SBE project. It's about how trackless trams and precincts are related. The precincts around the stations. This is a perfect example because it is where a trackless tram has been designed to go, right through the middle of this, and yet it's got mixed use, a bus port, a station, and a place that is being celebrated because of its indigenous roots. And it's very walkable. It's a lovely place to be. And it's very low carbon. All the benefits that you have in a 21st century designed precinct. So this is the basis of our project. How can we integrate trackless trams that can enable precincts to come alive like Yagan Square? So what we've done in this project is bring together five local authorities and Curtin University into what we call the Perth Consortium. That group has come together to test the idea around the trackless tram in the Perth context. So basically a, a, a big cross section across uh, the centre of Perth, really looking at what are the opportunities for transit to help urban renewal happen in the inner ring of Perth. For the city of Canning, trackless tram project is critical because we want to see more people on public transport and less motor vehicles on the street. The development of our main street in Cecil Avenue has as one of its core deliverables connection from the Canning Rail Station through to Curtin University and through to the Perth CBD. And the trackless tram is a central part of that. Trackless tram is an efficient, silent, sustainable way of travelling and hopefully it'll be patronised by many because of its uniqueness in Australia. The trackless tram will be instrumental in releasing land value. In other words, there will be more opportunity for more people to live in our main street. Now, the City of Canning has embraced diversity in housing choices and density, as well as that height. The Council has so much confidence, we have so much confidence in our city centre that we're actually actively out there buying land to develop. If it wasn't for the partnership that we have with Curtin University, we would be just one little voice in local government. Instead of looking at the opportunity to have a joined up approach across a number of local governments, which provide a wider community benefit than what we have just in our own areas. SNAMINS is an accessibility tool. It really tries to capture the integration of land use and transport planning. And it's telling us something about public transport networks rather than just individual lines or stations. It's telling us about how does the transport network actually work together and what can it do for the city. In Perth, we've got a situation where the public transport system is reaching some capacity limits, particularly here on St. George's Terrace, which is the busiest bus corridor in Perth. We've actually now got bus congestion. And as the city grows further, that is only going to increase. What we need in Perth is a step change to actually open up St. George's Terrace for a mode with greater capacity and better performance, such as the trackless tram or the light rail. My background is I grew up in Scarborough. I, I was a young lifesaver. I started at nine years old with the Scarborough Surf Lifesaving Club here. So I spent many, many summers down at the beach and all of my children have grown up by the beach and been involved in the Surf Lifesaving Club. So we're very passionate about this area. And my first home when I met my wife was on Scarborough Beach Road, not far from here. And I still remember the real estate agent telling me it's one of the first things that, that we heard was that the road width was seated, ready for trains to go down Scarborough Beach Road one day. Scarborough Beach has become more and more iconic and in recent times we've invested $100 million into the whole revitalisation of this foreshore. What it means is not only are the locals coming back in droves now to enjoy it, but the tourists are coming here as well and there's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people now attracted to Scarborough Beach. In fact on Thursday nights at the markets we have up to 15,000 people here at any one time. And that means those people need to get in and out of Scarborough. And we know that it's all about linkages to major infrastructure. So by having trackless trams down Scarborough Beach Road and linking to the major rail,
going through to Perth City and then beyond means that people can easily come from the airport, stay in the city, access a major tourist destination. I think that's a really important part of this project. So already we've got the planning framework in place along the whole corridor to allow for the extra development. In fact, it's so progressive, the developers are already backing that plan and we have major development happening along this corridor now. We not only need to try to attract developers by having major infrastructure put um, on the side of it, but we need to have really good transport networks. So we've been working closely with Professor Peter Newman for the last few years. Um, we're very aware of the research he's been doing into trackless trams, and particularly with other local governments. And I think that's one of the important things with this project. It's about lots of local governments working together for a better transport solution. So if we can get that private investment to assist with that, it's going to make the project even more successful. The project has developed seven principles of what makes good transit. And of those, one that I think is most important is actually this biophilic environment. It is bringing nature back into the city. It brings the temperature down, it reduces the urban heat island effect. But it could be anywhere, it doesn't have to be here. It could be any stop along the line. It's a lot more than putting in a, a transit. This is about creating places that prioritises people and the, and the amenity of the place over the car. So this is our story. And you can see that in Perth, the trackless tram can help create precincts right across from the outer suburbs, the middle suburbs, the inner suburbs, and especially here in the city <laughs> centre. This is so important that we link the whole city together and create spaces like this. We will get a vibrancy and livability and sustainability. That's a legacy we can be proud of.